Hello friends. In this video, we are going to study about the temperature measuring device called optical pyrometers. Here we will study its principle, construction, its working and its applications. So let us start with our topic. So optical pyrometers are the devices which are used for the measurement of the temperature. There are various other devices also which are used for the measurement of temperature like thermocouple, RTD, thermistors, thermostats but all these devices are contact type devices means they are in contact with the uh, with the device whose temperature we want to measure so they have to be kept at the surface of the object whose temperature we want to measure and they will be in contact with that but suppose that if you want to measure very high temperatures such that if the instrument is in contact with that object it is going to the it is going to damage that instrument okay because such high temperatures they can cause damage to that instrument the contact type instrument so for the measurement of such high temperatures optical pyrometers and radiation pyrometers are used so we can say that very high temperatures can be measured with the help of optical pyrometers now let's see its principle. The principle of optical pyrometer is that whenever any body is heated or uh, when the body its temperature is being changed the body is going to get heated up and radiations are emitted from it and these radiations are having some particular wavelength some particular frequencies so by measuring the frequency or wavelength of those radiations we can measure the temperature of that object So when a body is very at very high temperature then that object is going to emit some radiations and these radiations they fall within the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum okay. Now for a given wavelength in the visible region the radiations emitted they will be more when the temperature is high. So as the temperature is increasing high to very high level then the radiations the amount of radiations emitted they also increases. So for a given wavelength in the visible region, the energy radiated is greater at high temperature. So as temperature is increasing, the amount of radiations emitted is increasing or we can say the energy is increasing.
Now, as I have said that when the radiations are emitted, then these radiations, they fall in the visible range of the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum. Now, the in the visible region, if we are having, uh, if we are choosing a particular wavelength, so at a given wavelength, this, uh, the light is going to have a fixed color okay so fixed color is there and the energy radiation it can be interpret in the terms of the intensity or brightness of the radiation okay so first thing is that whenever any object is heated up it is going to emit the radiations now these radiations they are emitted in the visible spectrum and in the visible spectrum each wavelength is having a particular color and the energy radiated is interpreted in the terms of the intensity or brightness so if we want to find out that how much energy is being radiated we can see the intensity or brightness of the light okay if brightness is more it means more energy is radiated if brightness is less it means less energy is radiated so according to the energy radiated we can find out the wavelength of the light or wavelength of the radiation and we can say we can find out the temperature of the object because at particular temperature ranges or at different different temperature different radiations having different wavelengths are radiated okay so color is also different and their brightness is also changing with the change in the temperature so this principle is used in the optical parameters in optical parameters we will have an object and uh, we are going to measure the brightness or intensity so that we can find out the temperature of that object. So now we will study a type of optical parameter known as the disappearing filament optical parameter which is used for measuring the temperature and which uses a filament or a lamp to measure the temperature changes. Now, as I have said that in the optical parameters, when radiations are emitted, they are in the visible spectrum and different wavelengths are there, okay? Different, different wavelengths of radiations are emitted. Now, to restrict that we want only one particular type of wavelength radiation to be generated or to pass, we are using here in this optical parameter a color filter. So, this filter is going to observe, uh, absorb all the other uh, wavelengths and only one particular wavelength or one particular uh, radiation will be emitted, okay? And brightness we have to uh, check so brightness is measured by comparison with the standard length let's see the arrangement or the construction of this uh, disappearing filament optical parameter
so this is the disappearing filament optical parameter here this is the filament this is lamp so we are going to measure the brightness in terms of this or by comparing it with this lamp here we are having the heated source this heated source is going to emit the radiations so radiant energy is there now these radiations are absorbed by this absorption screen after that these radiations are compared with the brightness of this filament and through the after passing through the filter it reaches the eyepiece from where the observer can observe the brightness of this filament now to this filament the electric circuit is connected which consists of a rheostat a pmmc meter and battery this pmmc meter is going to measure the current flowing in this circuit okay now let's see the working of this pyrometer So uh, our main principle here, our main objective is to find the image of a radiating source and this image is obtained by coinciding it with the filament of an electric lamp. So image of that radiated source or the heated object is coincided with the filament of the electric lamp. Now when it completely coincides or when it is brighter or when it is lighter there will be three conditions and according to three, these three conditions we are going to measure the temperature of this radiating source. Now the current which is flowing in this uh, lamp filament that can be varied with the help of the rheostat. Now you can see in the diagram that to the filament rheostat is connected so current can be varied by moving this slider over this rheostat and this filament is viewed from this eyepiece okay here also we are having the lens so this can be viewed from here and we are going to see the image of this radiating source and coincide with the image of this filament and we will see that what are the observations here in the eyepiece there will be three observation first will be when the filament is too bright so this is the condition when the filament is very bright Now this is the condition when the filament is very dark and the third condition when the filament and the radiating source is having equal brightness. So this is filament too bright. So when the brightness of the image which is produced by the source and the brightness which is produced by the filament when they are having equal brightness then the filament is going to get disappeared and at the eyepiece we are not going to see the image of the filament. So when they are having equal brightness no filament is being seen. Now when the filament is seen as too dark it means that the there is a change in the brightness of the radiating source and the filament.
so when the brightness of the filament and the brightness of the radiating source is equal then the filament is going to disappear if the temperature of the filament is higher and uh, uh, higher than the temperature of the radiating source then the filament appears as too bright if temperature of filament is lower than the temperature of the radiating source then filament appears as dark So by checking these three conditions, we can find out the temperature of the radiating source that what is the temperature difference between the filament and the radiating source. Okay. So this is how the disappearing filament type optical parameter works and measures the temperature of the radiating source which are having very high temperatures. So when the radiating source is emitting the radiations, we will observe that what, of, what out of these three conditions we are getting. Now the intensity of the light of any wavelength, it depends upon the temperature of the radiating body. Okay, so intensity, it depends upon the temperature. Now, if we are changing the intensity of that, uh, means uh, if we are getting very bright situation, that uh, the filament is very bright, it means that the, the temperature of the filament is very high and the temperature of the radiating source is very less. So, we are going to change the temperature of the filament so that the equal brightness condition is being obtained so that temperature of filament is equal to the temperature of the radiating source. And how we can change the uh, condition of the filament by changing the current which is flowing through the lamp because temperature of filament depends upon current flowing through the lamp okay and current can be changed by moving the rheostat so the current measurements can be done with the help of the pmmc meter so in the indirectly we can calibrate the readings or the scale of the pmmc meter to directly read the temperature values now current can also be used and resistance can also be used okay so this is how the parameters the optical parameters they works now comes its applications As the parameters they are used to measure the temperature of the objects which are having very high temperatures. So temperature of furnaces, of heated materials, of molten metals can be measured with the optical parameter. And the range of temperature measurement can be extended up to 3000 degree Celsius. So such high temperatures can be measured with this. So in this video, we studied about the optical parameters. We saw its principle. We saw its uh, construction. We saw the disappearing type or the disappearing filament type optical parameter, which uses the principle of comparing the brightness of the filament by uh, the brightness of the radiating source. Okay. Then we saw its applications along with its range of temperature measurement. So I hope that this topic is now clear to you. Thank you.